We invented the terminal tractor business in 1958. We've been building terminal tractors for 67 years now. And later this summer, we're gonna hit 95,000 units in production. Wow. So here we are at ACT Expo 2025 in Anaheim, California. And I am talking today with... I'm Eric Strike, and I'm the manager of Zero Emission Sales for Calmar Ottawa. And we are here today to talk about our third generation battery electric tractor. This is the Calmar Ottawa T2 EV. So this product is very similar to our internal combustion product. And what is so important about that is that we try to shorten that learning curve as best we can. And by doing that is trying to make a tractor that is as similar as possible to what they already know. And so a lot of that, you know, starts with the driver's side door. Obviously all of our tractors do have a rear entry to the back of the cab and that is built for a reason so the operator can exit the cab, grab the airlines, grab the, the electric cables, plug it into the trailer, move that trailer from point A to point B. Before we go any further, if you're enjoying clean trucking news and videos, you can get more delivered straight to your inbox. Sign up for our free weekly newsletter using the link in the description below. On the roadside here, we do have two 12 volt batteries that are wired in series and that serves as your access to get up to the cab of the tractor itself. Inside this compartment here, we have some low voltage fuses and relays. The operator will never have the need to get in here. A factory trained technician would go in there if they needed to, to do, to do some type of repairs or maintenance to the equipment. You've got a hydraulic tank here. This hydraulic tank is a requirement for a yard tractor because this yard tractor has a hydraulic boom that raises and lowers. Sure. And what's so important about that is the operator can exit the cab, connect, jump back in the cab, raise the boom. They don't have to get out, crank up the landing gear. It speeds up the process of moving that trailer or that container mm -hmm. from point A to point B. Let's Around the back here. side here, yeah. obviously you've got your, your fifth wheel. This is a fifth wheel that is specially built for the terminal tractor segment, and it's built by one of our suppliers. This tractor will couple and decouple maybe 40 to 60 times a day. So it is built specifically with the purpose of that repetition and that frequency. And this is not a brand new vehicle, obviously. This, is, this, yeah. this has seen some action this, already. This is a demonstration unit. This tractor has been down with customers in the Port of LA. Okay. When we're done with the show, we'll get it cleaned back up and we'll get it down to more customers so they can put the, the tractor to use in their facility. Right. Over here on the curbside, this is one of our two battery packs. This tractor has 210 kilowatt hours of energy. There's three battery packs that are mounted underneath the cab between the frame rails, and then you've got three additional packs here. So those equal the 210 kilowatt hours that, that, uh, that we have to offer. Because this is a port spec tractor, we also have what's called a container guard. That container guard is there to protect the operator when they're offloading containers from a ship to shore crane. Mm -hmm. If there's a little bit of a breeze, that container may sway. And I also notice these cool composite materials. We've got some here composite as well. materials yeah. as well on the tractor. These tractors get a lot of abuse. And the benefit of having certain composites on the equipment is when they do get abused, they do get damaged, it speeds up the repair process so the piece of equipment can, can get back into work. Like even with this one here, I can see it's just screwed or bolted right yep. in, it'll come right out and swap it in. Absolutely, Very absolutely. Nice. On the front of the cab, we do have our charge receiver that does support CCS1 charging. Very good. We know some customers, they'll have CCS1 DC fast chargers out on site but in the event that they bring a tractor to the shop for repairs, some shops may just want to have a simple level two wall box charger. Yeah, and so uh, we, can support, we can support both with that. And what's the battery charging time on CCS1? Uh, CCS1, depending on how many kilowatt hours you have on board and the charger mm -hmm. itself, it could be as, as fast as 45 minutes to maybe two and a half hours, depending on how many kilowatt hours of energy on board and sure. the type of charger that they have. But you may not even need that because at the end of the day, you just plug it in Absolutely. and you're done. Absolutely. Our tractors offer three different energy levels. We call a low E, which is 105 kilowatt hours of energy. We have a mid E, which is 140 kilowatt hours. And then we have this tractor, which is the high E, 210. So what we do with our customers and our dealers is we'll do a site survey or an application survey. We go out, meet with the customer, we learn about their operation, we learn about how they use the equipment, and then based off of that and what the goals they want to achieve, we will suggest the right tractor with the appropriate charger so they can obtain those goals that mm -hmm. they, you know, they want to achieve in their operation. And they're on sale right now, correct? Absolutely, we started production this month. And speaking of production, where are they all built? They are all built in Ottawa, Kansas. 
So we invented the product. We've been building it since 1967. It's in Ottawa, Kansas, about an hour and 20 minutes southwest of Kansas City. Very cool. Well, um, I think it's about time to take this thing for a quick spin. Let's jump in let's the cab. Go. Let's go for a ride. So perfect. So the first thing you do is just turn it over to the first position and leave it right there. And basically what that's doing is that's bringing up the low voltage system on the tractor okay. itself. You'll see on the, on the display. So now what you do is you, you just turn it over one more time, just hold, turn it to the right and let go. Now that's gonna bring up to life the high voltage system oh. itself. So very cool. now what you do is, uh, this is your directional controls. So mm -hmm. what you do with your foot on the brake, push D for drive. And now you'll push in the service brakes right here to release the brakes themselves. Sometimes, yep. Give it a little there we go. cross there, parking brake enabled. And now we're ready to go. Okay. Uh, what I like about this is it's still very, very familiar. The Absolutely. overall layout Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Yeah. All your oh, HVAC sorry. controls, your lighting controls, your directional controls, even mm -hmm. your boom controls are in the same spot on an internal combustion product as they are on this. Another thing I really like is the standard knobs for the, your HVAC controls. Correct. Correct. Instead of integrating them into a panel or yep. something like that, this makes a lot more yep. sense. We have this panel right here. The purpose for this is because some customers ha of ours have what's called a yard management system. So okay. they may have a tablet mm. or they may have some sort of a display that's here. And you can and plug it in right And then you've got right power here. controls right there as that's well. That's a it's USB. USB. That's USB, hey. but we would also have some bullet connectors where we can tie in. There is also some uh, some power supply beneath this panel as well okay. that they could, they could wire in should they need to. All right, I think we're ready to go. Excellent. I noticed I just took my foot off the brake very slightly and yep. I went forward. All right. I love the uh, the commanding view that we got here. It, the, the, these tractors operate sometimes in very, very tight environments. Yes. Uh, in close proximity to other trailers, other pieces of equipment. So we need to make sure the operators have, have excellent visibility. And yeah. obviously, you know, you can see you've got uh, visibility almost 360 degrees. We've got a window behind the operator as well. So that, uh, that, that also improves visibility. Mm. This particular tractor does also have overhead visibility window. The purpose of that is yeah, I was when, noticing that. when this tractor operates in a port or a terminal, sure. they are pulling underneath a ship to shore crane and they need to be able to look up so they can see where they are in relation to where that container is. They'll have what's called a bomb cart behind yep. them that that operator, that crane operator will drop that container down onto. Gotcha. And so, I, yep. I also remember reading in your press release that the testing for these, especially with the batteries, outside temperature is a concern. Yep. You tested it down to like minus 22 Fahrenheit all the way up to 120 degrees Fahrenheit? That, that is correct, that wow. is correct. So this does have what we call an active thermal management system, TMS, and that TMS has three coolant loops. It has mm -hmm. one loop to cool the traction motor, the drive motor, because that drive motor can get warm. Sure. It has a coolant loop to either heat or cool the batteries themselves, depending on the ambient air temperature. Mm -hmm. And then finally, it has a third coolant loop, which is for the cab itself. All electric tractors do come standard with air conditioning and obviously a heater. Uh, that's very important, especially Absolutely. when you're working in Absolutely. a yard. Right. So now, we do also utilize uh, ABS. Mm -hmm. to recapture some regenerative braking and recapture some of that energy. When you do get a chance, we get around the next corner, we'll create some space between ourselves and that tractor ahead of us. Okay. And then uh, you can give it, give it a little bit of acceleration. Can't go too fast, but then you can let off the accelerator and you'll feel the ABS system and you'll feel that regenerative braking that we're talking okay. about. All right, we'll try that in a sec. I also, also noticed, you know, again, everything with regarding turning radius is very, Absolutely. They're very simple. I'm not I'm not even really moving the steering wheel that much. No. It's very, very slight. It's a 126 inch wheelbase. Mm. So it does have a very, very good turning radius. Yep. Uh, and again, that's, you know, that is a lot of the times it's because these tractors do operate in very tight environments. They've got to be able to back in, in some cases, maybe as much as a, a 53 foot trailer. Cool. So I let go now and- uh, Sure. So yep. just take my, yep. just go slowly or stop? Uh, no, go ahead. You can go ahead and speed up and then you can let off the accelerator and then you'll feel that ABS and you'll feel the, you feel that? Uh, yes, that very is, much, that, yeah. is, that is programmable. Okay. And we can program that based off of what the customer wants. Okay, so um, they, customers are able to come out to your facility and say like test drive some of absolutely. these and make certain determinations based on what they feel it works best for them. That is correct. 
Eric, thank you very much. Jake, Appreciate thank it. Thank you so much. Appreciate Absolutely. you coming out today. Appreciate your interest in the Camarado T2EV. Awesome. Thank you.